Hi YouTube, Eden Droid here. Uh, thank you for watching my last video on how to upgrade your Froyo to Gingerbread. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you a really cool um, thing to flash on your Gingerbread actually. Now for this, you would need Gingerbread and let me say it again. You would need Gingerbread to go through what I'm going to teach you now. This is called Clockwork Mod which you know we were all waiting for and we didn't have on our phones and those who tried it earlier actually break their phone so TJ Style is a developer at XDA4 and he had been so kind to us that he has actually made um, a custom recovery actually which is your clockwork mod recovery for our Galaxy Minis so let's start let me just take you through the process how we are going to install it on our Galaxy Minis. Now the first thing you need is your Odin 4.38 like you know, this is actually a very handy software for your Mini so you should keep it with you all the time and then you have your Mini with you just to close it you do a power off and ok let it shut down here on your Odin you have to select the OPS file which is your TAS file which is similar everywhere um, you can use the same file and then this is the tricky thing you have to click one package here now what this does it disables all of these and enables this thing and when I'm gonna click it I'm going to select this one package uh, what is this one package um, CWM 2.3.4 for mini. I've actually made up for it. TAS hyphen recovery. See, this is the package we are going to select. And I have selected it. See, done. Now, the next step we are going to we are going to start our phone in download mode. Download mode, you need to press the down volume key, the home key and the power button and we are in the download mode now when you're in the download mode you connect your mobile phone to your computer and it detects it it's, it ports it see and then we are just going to start but before starting just double check we have the right files we have one package checked we have OPS we have one package file which is your TAS recovery CWM.tar so now we'll this is the start button just in case you can see it we'll start flashing it and it has started it's actually a very quick process my phone will restart in a bit yeah see it's already restarting already restarting now um, you'll all be like so okay it will restart and then it will be your same phone now what so what good is it why should I install clockwork mod recovery on my mobile phone why should I do that now first of all we should all thank TJ style I think anyone who's watching this video should should, should literally post thanking Thank you TJ Style for giving us clockwork mod number one. Now secondly why we should do this, there are different custom ROMs coming up right, um, thank god and TJ Style and all the other developers who are actually looking into it, uh, there are other custom ROMs coming in and the best way to install a custom ROM and actually to back up your current ROM is clockwork mod. Now, it was available on Galaxy S and uh, other HTC devices but Samsung didn't have it on any other handset as yet so this was actually a rip off from that which is pretty cool trust me I'm just going to start um, waiting for it to be you know done it should say pass even though my phone has restarted but I'm waiting for it to say pass now when we'll be done with this I'm going to restart my phone in the recovery mode and then you would see uh, how cool is that and then you would just see and it says pass now what are we going to do we are going to restart the phone let's restart the phone actually I just shut down the phone and then we'll start it in recovery mode 
and we'll see how cool the recovery gets. Okay, it's off. Now, it's not. Now we'll, we'll be pressing the home button and the power button. It's the same combo that we used to go into recovery normally. We'll release it. We have the Samsung logo. And it, this is your clockwork mod recovery which is awesome now what we can do we can reboot the system we can apply update the touch screen doesn't work we are using our volume keys for this we can wipe and you know reset it cache partition install zip from sd backup and restore mount and storage and at once now how do we install custom roms Follow the instruction wherever you find the custom ROM. Make sure that you read through the forum or the post or whatever, wherever you find it. Try to find out that it is authentic and it is for your device and for the version that you are having. Um, and then you put it on your SD card. You go into Clockwork Mod Recovery and then you do install zip from SD. You press the home key and you are in actually. Now there are different settings here the first one says apply sd card update the second one says choose zip file from sd card toggle signature version and toggle script now let's choose zip from sd card now right now i don't have any zip on my sd card when you do that you will actually get all the folders on your sd card on your screen and the zip file that you know that will have the custom rom you just click that and then you just install it i'm sorry in this video i'm not really showing you on uh, how to um, install a custom ROM because I have tried it actually I have tried it a lot in just two days I have tried four different ROMs in fact six different ROMs that two multiplied by twelve because I was trying and installing and reinstalling and all that um, and I want my to give a break to my cell phone right now because I didn't like it I want those ROMs to seriously develop you know some more uh, for now because like I said I am really 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 happy in going back to my Froyo so that is exactly what I am going to teach you now